MSB here, and welcome to another card breakdown. Today, we'll be looking at Eye of Creation. Eye of Creation is a wild PvP basic action, with a 3 cost and 3 wild threshold. Now, I've mentioned Eye of Creation in quite a few of my other videos, so you may already be able to tell that this spell is kinda a big deal. When played, you select an additional amount of resources to pay over and beyond the 3 cost. You then reveal that many cards from your deck, and are able to play any of those with a cost equal to or less than the variable amount you paid. In standard rules, you would then choose the order in which to resolve these revealed cards, and then do so one by one. Not only is this card very powerful at this point, but if you manage to reveal another Eye of Creation, that second copy duplicates the first. All cards not played during the resolution of Eye of Creation are then shuffled back into your deck. The three wild threshold won't really hurt Eye of Creation, as in constructed PvP, you'll be holding off on playing it until you have enough resources to pump it up. By this time, hitting the three should be easy. In addition, as Wild has access to other resource ramp like Chlorophyllia, getting to the optimal variable cost value can be much faster. Playing Eye of Creation, when you've only got one copy in hand, with a payment of 7 for the variable cost is what I consider the sweet spot, as with around 44 cards left in your deck, flipping 7 cards gives you a little over a 40% chance to pull a second EOC, which is where you can get some insanely powerful results, and the currently revealed game winners, like Jadim and His Majesty King Gabriel, all cost 7 or less. A payment of 8, with around 41 cards in your deck, gets you close to a 50% chance, and a payment of 6, with around 47 cards, gets you a little over a 30% chance. Obviously, this is modified by things like the number of cards you've drawn, if you've already pulled a second copy, and the resource ramp you've used. So plan to use Eye of Creation as appropriate in the current game state, but just don't wait too long to pull the trigger. Eye of Creation will be fantastic in constructed PvP. And since it works on anything from bombs to burn, the different ways to effectively use it will be plentiful. In draft, though, the need to wait for the additional resources to make casting this worthwhile, as well as the suboptimal composition of your deck, will make Eye of Creation not work nearly as well. Picking this early on speculation could be one way to go, unless you're just redrafting. Then grats on the pull! Looking at PvE, for Eye of Creation decks, the trinket will normally be of little use, as playing this card for any significant value should win you the game anyway without the life gain. As the piece is only of uncommon rarity though, it may be temporarily worthwhile in multi-stage raids until you get a better one. The dagger effect is one of Hex's great mysteries, and I feel that the Eye of Creation deck will be heavily incentivized to use. Cryptozoic knows what you're giving up to pull from a new deck, and I don't think they would have designed this weapon if it wasn't mind-blowingly awesome. In addition, there's an added bonus of possibly being able to play smaller EOCs, if, for example, the new deck's cards all have a 0 or 1 cost, or at least being able to loosen up a little on your deck construction and not having to be totally optimized towards the standard use. Keep an eye out on release for this creative effect, and in my opinion, prepare to be wowed. Thanks for watching. If you agree or disagree, I'd love to read your comments below, or on the Utopian Chaos forums. If you liked the video, please take the time to subscribe, and leave a comment on which card you would like in my next breakdown. Hope to see you in Hex for some good games and good times.